Now, if there's one handheld for me that is probably the most impressive out of all of them, it has to be the PlayStation Vita. Not only is its online service still around, games are still being made for it commercially, even though we did have a scare earlier this year when Sony had talked about sunsetting its online service, that has been prolonged, at least for now, to a date that we're still not sure about, but as of right now, the PlayStation Vita is still having games made for it in a commercial sense, and it's still being developed for. But not only that, there is a amazing homebrew community, probably the best that I've ever seen, at least in a very long time since the days of, say, the Nintendo Wii or the OG Xbox, where homebrew development is continuing to impress. And all of a sudden, you've got a, a mix of commercial games being developed for it, as well as the homebrew stuff. And it makes the Vita, for me, even more desirable as just the best gaming handheld that money can buy. Now, I will say that the Vita is well and truly past its best days. You know, the games that are being made for it right now aren't anywhere near the level of quality that we saw, you know, during its heyday. But this system will truly never die. And now we have a new homebrew release, Bully, the video game by Rockstar Vancouver or Rockstar Games, that was just released. Now, you may recall a few months ago, we covered the story of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas coming out for the Vita. And this is the Flow's new release, Bully, the video game. Now, the game itself is a third-person perspective open world game, very much in the style of Grand Theft Auto, as it uses the same renderware engine technology as those games did. But this is a different take on the open world. You play as Jimmy Hopkins and you're enrolled in the Bullworth Academy School. And the main aim of the game is to rise through the ranks of the school system in order to put a stop to bullying. Now, as you play through the game, you'll be very familiar with some of the game mechanics. This is very much early Rockstar games. Now, Bully has been ported to many different systems over the years, including the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, the Xbox 360 got an upgraded port. So did the Nintendo Wii. It's also available on iOS and Android, and it's the Android port that we're most interested in because Bully on the PlayStation Vita essentially is the Android port of the game running on the Vita. Now, for those that didn't catch the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas video on the Vita that I did previously, this follows the same approach. And that is the Flow has developed an APK loader that can take an Android binary object file and basically it wraps around that and patches in system calls and replaces the calls that the Android APK is expecting with calls that are PlayStation Vita equivalent. And this in turn allows you to run the official APK, which is completely unmodified and allows you to run on the Vita. Now that's obviously very high level and I did go into it in some more detail on the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas video about how the flow managed to pull this off. But essentially, it's just patching calls that the Android game is making and replacing them with the Vita equivalents. It's effectively a wrapper around the APK. And this is something that the flow had mentioned to me previously that there were other opportunities to bring other games to the PlayStation Vita. And here we are with Bully. Now, the game itself is a lot of fun. It runs extremely well on the Vita, and I'm running this on a stock Vita with no overclocking whatsoever. Now, there is the option to overclock the game, but I haven't noticed any slowdowns to date, at least, while I'm playing through the game. Now, in order to play this game on the Vita, you'll need to acquire a copy or purchase a copy of Bully Anniversary Edition running on Android. And as someone that has purchased Bully previously, this was something I was able to transfer over to the Vita. Now the Flow has provided step-by-step -step steps on how to get the game installed and running on the Vita. Now, if you do own a PS Vita, I strongly recommend that you get it modded for homebrew. It's very easy to do. It won't take you very long. And it just opens up this new world for you to experience 
some amazing quality homebrews such as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and now Bully running on Vita hardware. Games that really never were even considered to run on the Vita. All of a sudden we have this amazing collection of Rockstar games running on Vita hardware. And I love it. You know, I just want to continue to see more of these games come forward. And I think the flow is going to continue to give us these high quality Android ports over to the Vita. Now, for those people that are wondering, is this legal? Is Take-Two Rockstar going to come and shut all this down? Well, I'm going to say I don't think they can. I don't think legally they have a leg to stand on. I mean, they can try some, I guess, scare tactics, you know, to try to to you know, take some websites down perhaps, but legally this is all 100% above board. The fact that you still have to provide an official Android APK, in other words, purchase your own copy and utilize that means that there's really nothing illegal that's going on here. There's no patching of the game. There's no proprietary stuff that's being incorporated here. This is purely a wrapper around the Android version that has been developed as open source and is available on GitHub for you to examine and do whatever you want with. In fact, the flow is looking for more people to get involved in these types of projects because there's always ways to improve performance and fix the game if there's any bugs and whatnot. But I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this particular release. It's something that happened earlier in the week and I did wanna cover it, but I did also wanna spend time with this port and I gotta say, it's a quality product from the flow and look, I can't wait to see what's next. He did mention there were more games that he was considering bringing to the Vita including Bully, and here we are with that release. But he also mentioned games like Knights of the Old Republic were a possibility as well. So it'll be interesting to see if we see more of these quality Android ports come to the Vita. I, for one, am a huge fan of it. And look, I've got to say, I'm having so much fun with the PlayStation Vita right now. It really is in a perfect storm of commercial games that you can still download and play for cheap, as well as the homebrew scene. And because you can mod your Vita for homebrew, you can still access the PlayStation Network at the same time. You really have the best of both worlds. And look, I will say that this isn't going to last. I mean, eventually the PS Vita store is going to go down, but it's really a great time to be a PlayStation Vita owner. And once again, if you don't own a Vita, now may be a great time to jump in and take a look and see what you're missing out on. And if you do own a Vita, but you haven't modded it for homebrew, why don't you take a look as well and jump in and look at the amazing high quality homebrew ports that are coming out for the system. Some of the best that I've ever seen, quite honestly, is all here on the Vita for you to enjoy and take a look at. But we are going to leave it here for this episode. Let me know what you thought about Bully on the PS Vita. I think it's another amazing port. And what's next? I've got to give huge props to the flow for continuing to make these amazing ports. This is a scene that is quite small, let's be honest, but he's doing this out of you know his passion and, and love for the hardware, and that is really amazing to see. Well, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.